Yep, she broke again. Don't know what's wrong with it. She just quit running. Really? Again? Dang, man. It's like the third time. Yep, broke what? down again. This time it's hydraulically up front. Yeah, I'll be on my way. Yep, she broke down again. Yep, heading to the cylinder there on the plow. She snapped right off. Dude, it's not even snowing outside. Why do you got the plow? I know it's not snowing. But I wanted to use the plow. Come get me. Yep, it happened again. Oh, uh, <sighs> broke down. Yep, <sighs> back 40. Come get me. Lost a couple pins in the front end. Motor deck fell off, back wheel fell off. The pins fell off? Come get me. So I know a lot of you guys have probably been wondering about, Mike, what happened to this tractor? What was the outcome on that front end? What did they find? What are they doing for you? Who's doing it for you? Well, I'm gonna answer all those questions and I'm gonna give you a complete update what's going on. First, I'm gonna talk to you about what was sent to me. Oh, good old company called uh, Ritavis. Ritavis, Ritavis, Ritavis. I think I'm saying it right. Sent me these walkie talkies. Just in the time. Retivis, Retivis. Retivis! You do the talking on the Retivis walkie talkies. When we're out there, I can radio home if this thing breaks down on me. And uh, kids can use them if they go out and play in the woods, we can get a hold of them. So they sent them out just in the nick of time. I'm going to hit on them a little lightly, real quick. They've got some decent range on them. So that is something i uh i kind of like in a walkie talkie or other walkie talkies aren't really that clear at a long distance i will say the one thing that stuck out to me and then we're going to move on with the video if you ever look at this right here you don't see a screen right just just hard shell and then i don't know if you can see that i really like the fact that they had that screen hidden back like Super hard. Let me get my knife out. I mean, they work pretty good. I don't know. Maybe I'll put a link in there. Didn't give me much information, but here they are. Radios, review done. Back to this tractor. Well, I tried contacting Kubota Corporate and uh, I didn't have much luck. And you guys know how I feel about the dealer who sold me the tractor. But, I had no other choice. I had to contact the dealer. The tenacity that this dealership had to offer such things to me was downright just, oh, there's no words. You're not gonna believe what that dealer did. I mean, you just, I had to make a video on it. You're not gonna believe it. I called those guys up. They came and picked up this tractor. You believe that? They came and picked this tractor up. They had some nerve showing up on my property and they didn't even charge me for it. And in fact, when I emailed them, it was a completely different guy. In fact, nobody I used to talk to there is there anymore. So yeah, some nerve. And then they take the tractor and they haul it all the way to their shop. And then when I thought things couldn't get any worse, that dealership emailed me back. They emailed me back saying, hey, everything's okay. Everything checks out. We took everything apart. Everything's A-okay. Nah, you know me and my history with Kubota Omaha. I'm not buying it. No, I'm Mr. Andreessen. Everything's just fine. We checked the fluid. We didn't find any metal in the fluid that you put in there. We checked the fluid that you did give us with all the metal flake in it. And that was pretty common for something that's wear and tear. But hey, this is what we're gonna do for you. Yeah, they're gonna do something for me. Let's read this email. We checked out your axle yesterday and we feel very confident that it is in good shape. I have attached a copy of the work order with comments about what we found and our proposal to offer you insurance about your unit. Please take a look at it and let me know what you think. Please feel free to call. Left number. I'm going to have to read this sideways so I can get the better length out of it. But they sent me a work order. 
with all the details on it. Um, talking about the unit set up on some work order. Uh, 62 hours on the machine, found the front axle was filled, uh, wasn't filled with oil. Basically explaining what I had said. Uh, so this is where their comments are at. We picked up the unit and the oil that the customer had originally used to fill and drain his front axle. No significant metal was found. There was a lot of metal felt flake in that, but they were talking about chunks. The metal coloring in the oil is normal for a closed, non-filtered gear case. We then test ran the unit to check the front axle operation and no unusual performance issues or noises were found, which I had none to begin with, which I was really happy about. This is where it's gonna get interesting. Customer is really concerned that the axle with no little oil in it for the initial 6-2 hours would end up with a premature wear that may or may not be detectable. As a dealership, we have reasonable evaluated the axle and it is currently it is, is and see no evidence of damage. In a guarantee to the customer, as a dealer, we will cover internal front and, uh, axle issues if any should arise in the next few years after inspection. We are confident that no damage arose from the low or lack of oil in the front axle. So, boom, the nerve, the nerve. So I emailed them. They, uh, uh, I emailed the guy I usually have contact with. You guys seen that video I'll post it up. Uh, very hard to contact with. Uh, nobody works there anymore. I don't know if they fired them or what they did, but totally different crew. Uh, they said, hey, we're going to come pick up your tractor. We're going to take care of you. Well, I was kind of concerned because I was like, I don't have necessarily the time right now, uh, this time of month, to be dropping this tractor off. Uh, I don't own a trailer. I have to borrow one. And then I have to take time off work to get it there during their service hours. The nerve. What this guy said next, the nerve. He said, no worries. Why would... Why would you drop it off? We'll just come pick it up. And I said, no, 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 you're not. You're not picking this up. I'm not paying the $275 for a warranty issue or something that was wrong with this tractor just for you guys to come pick it up and then have it brought back. No, <laughs> you're not gonna believe what the guy said next. He said, why would you pay for us to come pick up a tractor with an issue that we caused? Do you believe this guy? I was like, all right, that's what I'm talking about. Well, have you guys noticed I kept on saying the people that you talked to before no longer are working there? I think they cleaned house, yo. And I told you guys if I had a big turd of a tractor, I was going to let you know. I mean, I guess. I mean, the major design flaw I've had with this tractor so far is the hydraulic leaking in the front. That's it. They've taken care of it, though. Uh, it was warranted. I don't know how long it's going to be warranted. That front axle, though, had me livid had me living but they're taking care of it you guys remember when i was saying that kubota will take care of issues that uh you guys complain about well guess what you guys look at the new bx uh 2021s they got a different front end apparently people didn't like this option and uh if you guys go look at those new front ends on the bx they kind of look like garbage they leave a big open spot for stuff to go through you guys better watch your complaining because sometimes it'll get you in trouble. Let's take a peek at this axle fluid and uh, see what it looks like. I put a couple more hours on this tractor. So let's pop this axle fluid cap and see what it looks like. It doesn't smell burnt. It's a little dark for gear oil. I'm not seeing any metal. It doesn't smell burnt. I think we're good. I don't think we have any worries. Nah, just joking, guys. It's pretty clear. Happy, happy, happy. Now, I'm not going to lie. It's been issue after issue after issue with this tractor. But I can't blame Kubota. Well, I can for one of them. Everything else has been dealer-caused breakdowns. Well, that axle situation is closed out. We're done. We're good to go. 
no more issues. I appreciate you guys watching, and I'll see you on the next episode.